Wix blogging tutorial. Let's begin. What's up everybody, it's David from WebsiteCreatPro.com. Now in this video, I wanna do a deep dive into blogging with Wix. Now I just created a full length tutorial on how to create a website and blog using Wix, starting from scratch, not using any type of template. So I just wanna create a quick little follow-up video on how to properly blog with Wix. I'm gonna show you how to structure your blog posts, everything that you need to know with regards to on-page SEO, as well as some specific limitations I found with blogging with Wix. This video is perfect if you already have a Wix site or you, maybe you've been thinking about going with Wix over WordPress and you just wanna know like what is the blogging like? So if you're ready, let's jump into my laptop and begin. Welcome to my laptop, let's begin. So this is my Wix website. I created a Wix website on Hazong, Vietnam, a really beautiful mountainous uh, province of the country. Took some amazing pictures and I figured it would just be perfect to create a Wix website tutorial uh, using all these pictures I took. Now to create a blog post section is really easy with Wix. So when you're in your Wix editor, the only thing that you need to do is just need to click on this plus sign over here, okay? Then you navigate down here to where it says blog, and that's it. And so it's gonna give you two options. You can add a standard blog, which is regular blog posts, or you can add a blog where you can have like content that's locked that people can pay for. So you can have those two options. I would just personally just add in a standard old blog, and then it's going to automatically install a blog post section on your website. And so to navigate to your blog post section, you click the drop down there, you navigate to where it says blog, and you should be looking at a page similar to this where it's showing your blog posts. Really simple. Now what I did here, click the item, move it down, and then go ahead and add in a title for the page if you want. So I went ahead and just added in blog, and this is, uh, let's edit the text. So that's an H1 tag up top there. Again, not a big deal if you don't do that, but just something like I like to do just to give it a little bit more you know, page structure for the end user so they know where they are. Now right down there, you can edit your blog post layout section as you want. So you click this, you go to settings. Under settings is where you can kind of change the way things are displayed, author name, publish date, reading time. Totally up to you. I personally like to keep things simple. That's just me. Like I like the page title right there, breadcrumbs, and then the author on the blog post page. And that's it. I usually just leave it at that. Completely up to you what you want to do. If you want to have like the excerpt here, etc. And so again, you can kind of play around with the settings on your own time. This is the blog post section, so it's not like that important. What's more important is the individual blog post. So you can kind of come in here and change like things like the layout if you want, cropping, the image ratio size post pro load, like, you know, that, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, really just, you can play around with it and lay and change the layout as you want. I personally would kind of leave the layout to maybe be 10 blog posts, like maybe six to 10. Personally, what I do is with website create pro, the blog, I use a three by three grid, uh, and I have lazy loading on the site. So when people scroll down, it kind of automatically appears, uh, do again, not that important. What's more important is your individual blog post. So Let's get to that. So to navigate to your blog post, you have two options. So you can click on manage posts right there. This light box is going to appear. And what this light box is, is just your Wix dashboard. See how it says like my site too, and this is just your Wix dashboard. So you can navigate from there, or you can go back to your dashboard. And we, there we go. Okay, so for example, if I wanna to navigate to my blog post page, there we go, I just click on the blog. That's it, <laughs> that's really that simple. Now let's create a new post. So right here, this is how we structure a blog post with Wix. So up top there, you have add a catchy title. Okay, so the title of your blog post is this. So it should be an H1 title tag. Catchy meaning like, you know, you have to use a little bit of copywriting to make it a little bit more engaging. So for example, like, uh, like instead of, like if I wanted to go for the keyword how to start a vlog, okay? It's like, that's a keyword, that's something that people are looking for. But we have to, with copyright, you wanna make it a little bit better. Like how to start a vlog, you know, dash, like the stunning truth. <laughs> okay, the stunning the stunning truth. Like that's a little bit more engaged, that's a little bit more click worthy. People see that they're gonna be a little bit more interested. So yeah, you gotta pay attention to your keyword and then just make it a little bit better, make it a little bit more catchy. All right, so right down here is where we have our specific blog post where you can just begin writing content. So let me just take a let me just take this sentence right there. Let me copy that. All right, so let's go ahead and paste this in. We'll just paste dem demo text right there and demo text right there. All right, so when you start writing content with any type of online in general, you want to make sure that you break up paragraphs. The biggest mistake beginners always make is that they make massive 
walls of text. Break it up. <laughs> like two sentences, space. I mean, literally, look at this. This is like, this is <laughs> literally two sentences, space. Then we got like three lines there, space. Three lines there, space. Three. Why? Because it makes it easier for the end user to read. Okay, let me X out of that. Okay, so you just, uh, you want to make sure you break things up just to make it a little bit more readable. Now, you also want to use your H2 tags to break up subsections. So, for example, right down there, this is the H1. If I come down there, this is the H2. So, this is a subheading of this. And so, what you want to do is add in a subheading. So, again, we can say, say I'll just type in subheading. There we go. All right, so I'll highlight that. Paragraph, no. I want that to be H2, okay? So, this is a subheading of the title. There you go. Literally that simple. And then you can continue on with writing content, okay? So again, just keep going. Boom, we'll add that in. Now, what if I want to add in a subheading of this? So for example, I come down there, this is the H2. Now this is this H3, this is a subheading of this. This is important because you have to give your site a nice architecture for search engines as well as the end user just to make things readable and scannable. Like if you hit this page, it's really scannable. You can kind of scroll through it and stop where you see something that's really interesting to you, etc. That's it's important, and also the text size and the font size is important to make it readable. Okay, so anyways, uh, sub subheading. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So we'll highlight this, and again, paragraph H3, and that's literally all you need to pay attention to primarily. Okay, so. Anyways, now that we kind of covered how to kind of structure things, how do you add in specific like links, affiliate links, that sort of thing uh, with your blog? So you have a couple different options. So the first thing is like, let's just navigate over to Amazon Associates. So for example, say like I'm creating a blog post, I'm vlogging and I want to promote like maybe the GoPro and talk about like why it's a good vlogging camera, etc. So you can just come into your Amazon Associates page. Here we go. So now I can click on text only, then go to short link, and then we'll take the Amazon link right there, then navigate over here. And so to add in an affiliate link is really simple. So you just highlight the text that you want to make it into affiliate link, click the link, and then we go to web address, then paste that in. And then we want to have that link opens in a new tab. And also, you also want to unfollow any type of like paid link. So if it's like an affiliate link, you definitely want to kind of unfollow that link. You don't have to, it's up to you, but I would personally unfollow links. That's what I personally do on Website Creator Pro. So now we click on save and there we go. So now we have an affiliate link, okay? And so you can also add in images as well. And so if we click over here to say uh, image, all right, so now we have our image right there and say I wanna add this to my site. All right, so now we come down here, say if I want to add the image in right here, what do I do? Okay, so you have to click the plus sign. Now you need to find to say where it says like some type of like HTML code, etc. Okay, because that's what you have. So now we have the HTML, insert HTML. There we go. So HTML code, paste that in. And there you go. And now it's really nice with we can save it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I can come in here and adjust this as I want. So with Wix, it's a little bit odd. Like, see, I want to click on like these items right there. It just doesn't work like eh. Eh, like that doesn't work. So we have to click on this item right there. And here it's kind of like where, how you can kind of adjust things a little bit. And so we can just kind of eyeball and center it as you see uh, fit. And that's it. Okay. So that's kind of like how you add in uh, affiliate links. Now, one thing I specifically want to mention though, too, is like redirections. Unfortunately, with Wix, you don't have any way to like redirect a, a link. So for example, like we come over here and say, I come down here and say like this Bluehost link and it's websitecreatepro.com slash Bluehost. Well, that's like my way to redirect to my Bluehost affiliate link, okay? And so that's really helpful because sometimes like an affiliate program will change the, the platform they're using. And so if they change it, then I can just log into the platform, get one link and then update the link redirection for websitecreatepro.com slash Bluehost, for example. Okay, it makes it really easy. With Wix, unfortunately, there's no, there's no way to do this. You have to put in your direct affiliate link. And if the platform ever changes, that means you have to go through all your content and manually update all the links, if that makes any sense. Or you can use a service like bit.ly.com uh, or whatever it is uh, in order to set up like redirections for your specific links. And that's kind of like how I would, I would approach that to kind of stay on top of like your affiliate marketing with your links, okay? I personally would use bit.ly if, if I was going to be using Wix just because it's such a pain 
when a program that you're promoting, they change their affiliate and then you have to go through all your content. So I really hope Wix in the future updates this to like have some type of way to like have redirect so you can have mywixsite.com slash like product or whatever, that sort of thing. Okay, so now let's navigate over here into the left-hand sidebar. So right here we have our settings. So post settings right there, we have a display cover image. And so I definitely recommend having a display cover image like this, like the feature image, definitely would recommend doing that. So to add an image, it's very easy. You just click the plus sign, that's it. So there we go. Okay, so now we can just drag and drop an image into place. So I got this image of the GoPro, we'll just drag and drop that right there and it should automatically upload. Now when you upload feature images, make sure that they're big but not too big. And so you can get uh, you can get images from any type of website like unsplash.com for example let me just type that in for example unsplash but the one issue is that these images tend to be really massive like they're 6000 by 6000 pixels like you definitely want to resize this like i resize this down to uh like 600 pixels so it's it's much more light and quick loads more quickly etc you want to pay attention to site speed you don't want to load like some big massive image all right so now we have the publish date. Obviously with Wix, you can set it to publish in the future or whatever you want. Author right there, we have a different author. So if you wanna add an author right there. So here is a better way, like if you wanna, like I don't wanna have it be WCP tutorials. I wanna have it actually be like David. <laughs> this is where you would do that, okay? And then you can have a title, give yourself your own title if you want. Then you can add in, then you can add in your own image right there with Wix as well. Uh, so like when you're when you're displayed on your blog post, it associates an image with yourself, uh, et cetera. So anyways, let's X out of that. Okay, and so that's it. Okay, so now we click on advance and here we can add in the excerpt. Excerpt's important because that explains what the page is about. So for example, let's just type in website creative pro, just the you know it's the standard old search term. All right, so your excerpt is right here. Okay, so that's your excerpt. Okay, and so that's what this is right there. And so related posts, you can add in your own related posts manually as you want with each individual piece of content, which I think is really cool and interesting because I know like like with WordPress, for example, like I can't do that. Like this is just automatically generated based on <laughs> Jetpack, whatever they think is related to the piece of content the user's on. Now for SEO, this is important. So SEO, you have your page SEO right here, so you can change the URL slug. Uh, for me personally, this is not too important, but I like to keep my URLs kind of just short and sweet and to the point. So like, for example, the keywords, how to start a vlog, I would just call this how to start, how to start vlog. Like I would just keep it something simple. Again, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. You can have a long URL, short URL. I just like to keep things short and clean. Now let's come here to, okay. So now we got that. So now we have the SEO title. So the SEO title, that's different from the page title, okay? So for example, like the page title is right here, how to create a professional business email, complete guide. We can navigate there. This up top right there, where you see it right there, how to create a professional, professional business email, complete guide. That's the SEO title. You can change that to be a little bit different than the page. So like, you know, for example, if your keyword is like how to create a professional email or how to start a vlog, you can have it be like how to start a vlog, complete guide, and then you can change the page title just to be like how to start a vlog, step one to step done. I, you know, why would you ever want to do that? Well, sometimes maybe like you, you want to have something that's a little bit more clickable and interesting on, on page, but for SEO purposes, you want to keep your page title short because you only have uh, so much length. Like there's only a limit to how long the page title can be. So sometimes you have to shorten things down uh, as appropriate. All right, so that's it for like your SEO title right there. Okay, so now right here, so show this page in search results page. Like, yes, okay, like, so no, you've hidden your whole site from search. So go to general SEO settings, okay. So for example, now you gotta make sure that your site is not hidden from the search engine. So this is really important right there. So show, show this page in search results. So you've hidden your whole site from search results. Go to general SEO settings to change this, okay. So let's go ahead. Okay, so and now you want to navigate back to your Wix dashboard. You want to come down there to where it says SEO tools. You want to make, come down here and come to general SEO settings. Click on that. And now let search engines index your site. Make sure that you just select that and turn it on. <laughs> it's literally that simple. Okay. And so that should resolve any type of issue right there. So if you haven't done that, <laughs> that's really important. Make sure you take care of that. Okay. So now we come here to social share. So here, 
you can kind of change the way your blog post looks when someone shares it on, say, like Facebook or uh, Twitter, etc. And so you can kind of customize things. You can customize the image as appropriate to like whatever you want, whatever. Now we come over here to advanced. So here, advanced, we have really nice access to the structured data. I'm really impressed by Wix there. It doesn't hide this. It gives us full access to like the information that we need to know. We can add in custom meta tags. Uh, just kind of eyeball this and make sure it just everything looks good, like the date and time, the canonical URL to what you want. So it's like the site title slash uh, post slash how to start a blog. I think that looks great. That's a nice, really nice URL structure, etc. Now, last, let's check a, take a quick look at categories. Now, categories are one of those things that are, yeah, they're important. So I always recommend in all my tutorials that you pick like four to like seven categories max. Make sure the categories are not just thoughts or blogging or <laughs> whatever or example or, or untitled. Give your category a title. Pick four to six keyword rich that makes sense for your website to help describe what your website's about okay so for example like website creator pro tutorials web hosting domain names like stuff that i talk about on this channel stuff that i blog about not 20 categories just you know four to six is fine and right here you can go in and create a category and there you go and so make sure that each blog post is linked to a specific category and i would typically pick one category don't put a blog post into like two different categories just one category is fine all right, so tags down here. Personally, I'm not a big fan of tags, but tags are, again, literally what it says. Tag tags to describe your posts. Readers can use them to find other posts with similar content. Okay, if you want to use tags, use tags. I personally don't use tags. I just use categories to structure everything under like four to six categories. And that's it. And so then we have sell subscriptions. Then this is a specific Wix thing where you can, uh, you know, content lock this and like someone wants access to it, then they have to pay for a subscription. Really, really interesting. So overall, that's kind of like how you, that's all you really need to know for creating a blog post properly with Wix. Okay. So make sure, again, just to recap, make sure you break the content up and make it readable. Make sure you use H1 and H2 and H3 tags to kind of break up the blog post as well to make it readable. Use relevant categories, uh, add in affiliate links, and then make sure the affiliate link opens in a new tab if it's off your website, which is obviously it should be. If you're going to be adding in images from Amazon Associates, make sure that like, you do things like this where you kind of center the, the item so it looks nice instead of it being weird and off to the left, as I showed you how to do. Uh, again, more importantly, too, make sure that you have general SEO settings. You, you turn this on so your site is indexed and so the content that you create can actually be indexed and be found. Uh, and that's really it. And then just go ahead and add in a feature image and then just create the best in class content. And I just want to leave you with how would you go about content locking your blog post if that's something that you're interested in doing because that is a kind of a unique thing that Wix actually enables you to do. So in order to get started with that, you have to go over here to the added apps, okay? And then what you need to do is you need to install the plans and pricing app, okay? So plans and pricing. So find that plans and pricing. There we go. Okay, so this is it. So it's called Pricing Plans by Wix, completely free. You just click open, click install, whatever. And what it automatically does, is it installs a dedicated plans and pricing page, adds it to your menu like it does with the blog post, etc. Here you can kind of, again, with Wix, just come in here, edit it as you want. You want to change it to one and two plans, three plans, the price points, etc. Whatever, but the step one is to add this specific app uh, to your Wix website. Now you want to navigate over to where your blog posts are. Now, when you create content over time and then you want to like content lock something, it's really simple. So we go over here to the little dots right there, click that, then you add it to subscription plan. Okay, so like if I wanted to have this <laughs> this specific blog post, uh, these two be public, this one be private, boom, click that to add this specific one to the subscription plan obviously you're gonna to have to go in here and create uh dedicated plans the pricing points like all that all that stuff that you need to do so you can do that on your own time obviously uh, i'm not going to walk you through that it's pretty self-explanatory you just give a plan info connect and management benefits price duration uh you know just go through all the details that you need to know and that's pretty much it and so that's how you go about the process of content locking your blog posts all right, everyone, that's it for this blogging tutorial for Wix. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing, hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video. My name is David, WebsiteCreatePro.com. Have a good day and thank you. Bye-bye.